Part 6 Day 27 Tabitha held tightly to her father's tunic. No matter what, she decided, I am not leaving my father again. Herod stepped off his chariot and motioned for his men to pull Eliakim off his horse. They threw the shepherd to the ground, knocking Tabitha off in the process. True to her vow, she did not let go of her father and landed on, un- landed on top of him in the dirt. So you think yourself better than a king, Herod said, looking down on Eliakim? A lowly shepherd. Herod spat on Eliakim, but the shepherd said nothing. What's this? No clever words? Herod taunted. No great oratory about being a citizen of Rome? Again, Eliakim remained silent. I am Herod the Great, the king roared. I am king of all Jews. How insolent of you to think yourself better than me. Herod began stomping back and forth, pacing like a caged tiger. Did you build the great fortress of Masada? Did you build the magnificent Caesarea? Or the palace of Herodium? Herod stopped pacing and screamed in Eliakim's face. Did you build the temple in Jerusalem? The efforts of his rage caused Herod to double over in a fit of coughing. When he had finished, Tabitha thought he seemed near death. He looked out the corners of his eyes at Eliakim and said in a gurgled whisper, I heard what you told Caponius. I heard about this new king to be born. Tell me now or die. Where is this to happen and when? Eliakim pulled himself up straight and stared at the king but said nothing. Herod nodded at his guards, one of whom stuck the tip of his spear to Eliakim's throat. Your Herodians may well kill me, Eliakim said, but I will not reveal the secrets of the Messiah. Then kill you, they they shall, Herod said, and nodded to the guard. Tabitha screamed as the man pulled back his spear and re-aimed it at Eliakim's heart, but just before his arm came forward with the fatal throw, the cry of attack came from somewhere in the surrounding hills. In moments, the entire group was circled by a dozen Roman soldiers. The Herodian guards were swiftly disarmed and held by the Romans. As the dust of the scuffle settled, a Roman centurion walked calmly into the center of it. The centurion stared at the king for a long moment, then said, Leave, Herod, or I shall finish the emperor's work for him. Herod scowled at the Roman then abruptly turned and hobbled to his chariot. A moment later, all the Herodians were on their mounts and followed their king up the road to Jerusalem. The centurion turned to Eliakim and said, Caponius suspected your God might need a bit of help protecting you tonight. On the contrary, Eliakim smiled. My God knew exactly what he was doing. The centurion laughed and offered to accompany the group to Bethlehem, but Eliakim assured him that all would be well now. And so it was an hour later that Tabitha, Eliakim, Hashba, and Uzziah finally rode into the fields surrounding Bethlehem and found there the caravan they had left so long before. Consider, sometimes it's scary to go before someone in authority, the school principal, our boss at work, a judge in a court. What do you suppose it's like to go before God?'